What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, you'll see me, my beautiful wife, giving you guys awesome tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully take your relationship to a whole nother level of enlightenment, love, and romance. Hopefully. Right? Hopefully. Yeah. We'll Not see. everybody has gotten this in their life yet or uh, has been able to experience that love or romance, but that's okay. We have faith in you guys, we believe in it, and the world will give it to you as long as you're asking for it and doing the right thing. Manifesting. That's a, manifesting. Manifest my husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sure a lot of girls that I know are, that are single are manifesting rich, uh, good looking, young men so they can marry and have awesome families with. Wow, well, I'm not sure if I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I was manifesting any of that. I was just hoping for a good guy. <laughs> That's all I was asking for. Just uh, give me a good guy that won't cheat on me, right? New day, a new age, right? Yeah, I guess so. But anyway, so this week we want to help you guys out with one topic that does come up quite a bit, um, and people really don't know what to do or really how to respond to it. I guess to certain circumstances. Right. And that's insecurities. Oh, no. That's insecurities in your relationship or insecure people in your life. Yeah. It could be your partner. Um, it's kind of crazy, right? Insecurities can definitely do damage to the relationship, do damage to, you know, your communication portion of the relationship and a lot of different things out there. Um, I have insecurities, right? And, you know, it's not healthy for the person that has the insecurities as well because, you know, it's easy to get caught up in the little things that are going inside your head and you're making all these other scenarios up <laughs> and you know, then, then you think the scenarios I can are build, real. I can build a whole story. You can build it. Just off of one small thing that was misplaced. Believe it and then take it out <laughs> on your partner because you think it's true. <laughs> so this is something, you know, it's, it, there's a fine line, right? With insecurities and jealous, jealousy and all these different I'm things I'm never out there, jealous right? ever. <laughs> But, uh, you know, what do you do, right? What happens if you're the insecure person or you're in an insecure relationship? Yeah, that's a tough one, huh? That's a tough one, right? Because a lot of different things go along with insecurities like trust and, and different things. But, you know, usually insecure people have dealt with past traumatic situations mm -hmm. or issues by other people in relationships that have done them damage. And, uh, you know, I know some of my friends and my guys call some of these girls out there and there's oh, guys like go. damaged goods some people's trash is other people's treasures oh my so. god <laughs> it's like buying expired uh, vegetables at the but store. it might not be expired to some people that's what i'm saying right it just expired some on the people ticket. look at things as trash some people look at it as treasure it really just depends on uh, you know their point of view and hey, how they look at things this is why I, I, I absolutely love my husband <laughs> But you know, what do you, what do you do, right? So, you know, what, what do you do? So, if you're this situation, you're the insecure person. Um, and do you realize you're the insecure person? That's the first thing, right? Yeah. You got to realize this and, and say, listen, you know, I do have some insecurities and some past things that happened to me, and this is why I feel like this. And I think that's the first thing is communication with your partner. We always talk about it. Or even maybe even recognizing, I guess, at first. Yeah. Because if you're in like denial. denial then that makes it worse yeah. because then you guys are just fighting over something you're like yes you are insecure no i'm not insecure yeah. yes you are insecure yeah. no i'm not insecure now, you can't even get past the point of like how are we going to correct this because yeah. you can't come to terms that you're insecure about whatever it might right be. like no i'm not you did this to me like oh no maybe you did but, hey, who and knows? maybe the other party has to uh be uh, you know, for up and coming for up and come forth and say, "Hey, listen, maybe I did do this to you." Yeah, maybe it issues. works both ways, right? There's a two-way street on. Well, <laughs> mostly not down here in downtown. There's lots of one-way streets. However, yes. in relationships, there should be a two-way street, and there usually is always a two-way street on yeah. everything. Yeah. So yeah. you know, it works both ways. So yeah, so the communication portion is the most most valid and most number one priority thing you should really take into consideration when you're talking to your partner because at that point, if you're telling them, hey, listen, this is why. Now, that might not be a good reason why, but at least it's a reason why, and that's just not, you're just doing it out of thin air. <laughs> you can at least say, oh, well, it was because of past relationship, which the rebuttal should be probably like, this is in your past relationship, 
you should be judging me on me, but it's kind of hard because that's all they've been used to in the past. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel for them. Well, I mean, then, then you, then the other party should probably maybe think, all right, how, what can I do to make them feel more secure? Right. Yeah. Or what, 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 what might I be, be able to go out of my way to make them feel better about it? Yeah. Right. And insecure doesn't just mean, I mean, insecure can go from all the way from like mentally insecure, yeah. emotionally insecure to physically insecure. You know, you could yeah. be insecure about something on your body or something on your face. It could be, I mean, it could be something physical, right? Yeah. So if it was something like that, that's an easy fix, right? right. You know, you just, you're going to have to support your partner and be like, Hey, listen, obviously I'm with you cause I love you and I love everything about you. Right. So it's irrelevant, you know, what you're thinking and you get over it because you're seeing something that I don't see, right. you know, it's what, that's an easy one. Yeah. Now all the other things about, you know, putting, uh, air tags in their car, tracking them down a little bit, you know, who is to say, I mean, it's, it's a, something fun to do, but the apps, <laughs> <laughs> or uh, calling into the phone company because you guys have, are on the same plan. Yeah. Oh, and then getting the, the, the detailed call log. Yeah. And then going down and calling every phone number on the call I log. I have never done that. <laughs> never. Never. I have never, ever done this. This is funny We stuff. have been together a long time. Call logs. <laughs> yeah. Those work out really good. Really, really good. Especially if you take the phone and really go through it and start digging in the numbers oh, and stuff. Oh, man. So, yeah, I should have been a private investigator. <laughs> I told him that when I met him. You know, I'm like, I never should have been in nursing. That was not really my true career. My true career must have been yeah. to be a private investigator. Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> if you're the insecure person, obviously identify the insecurities and, and, and know that you have to deal with them in some way, shape, or form. Right. If you're in the relationship and you're dealing with insecurities, the insecure partner, per se, you know, communication is going to be key there too as well. Talking to them, telling me, hey, listen, you know, I feel this way, uh, you know, and I don't like to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way. And what can we do about it? And they're like, well, you made me insecure by doing this, this, and this. And they give the examples. Then you're like, all right, well, at that point, I'm going to prove to you that, you know, you don't need to be insecure about these things. And that takes time too as well as action. Because you can say it all day. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Yep. I promise. I'm going to change. Whatever it is. But until you show the action of doing so, it's just words, right? And at that point, they don't really mean anything. Even if your word is bond, it really doesn't mean anything yet until you put those actions into play word, and show bond. that person. You know, I'll give you an example. I like using real life examples and I'll use John as an example. What a great example, right? So, you know, we've been together forever, right? Um, and so John, when I first met John, I mean, listen, when you're in the first like two, I would say solid two years, right? Because it sounds like a long time. It's really not that long. But even in the first one or two years, you're really still figuring each other out, you know, what, what your but hot buttons are, what to do, what not to do, whatever it is. I'll give you a prime example, right? So when I first met him, we would go out to places and people would take pictures of us and stuff like that. And obviously we take group pictures, right? And so John, he, he's like a very friendly, I don't know about anymore because I'm like, Rawr! but you know, he was always been a very friendly guy, you know, with females and, you know, and would just maybe like put his arm around them or something or, and then you have the girl that puts the arm around him or something and, and it's on the other side. And then I get the copy of the picture and I'm like, why is she hugging you like that? Like, I don't even like that. So over time, John has become weary of it, you know, and kind of, you know, I think he's, at least he understands like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have this girl stand next to me for a very bad photo op of Sharice getting these photos and this girl having her hand anywhere near me because she doesn't like that. And that's just how I am. Right. He's finally accept me for who I am. I'm sure he doesn't get, you know, now he doesn't get mad about it. Back then it was just it was all hell broke loose at every given point in time. And that was great. It's made us in who we are today. <laughs> molded us, <for> sure. <laughs> it has molded us. Um, but I'm telling you, that's, it's, it's something small that it kind of relates to, to this issue. And I, I couldn't say I was like insecure because I've never really been insecure per se, but I just didn't like it, you know? And I'm like, I don't want anybody giving you a hug, like, you know, like in, in any areas that I don't like or too tight or too low or too high or too close, you know, it's just, I don't like it. So what did he do because he loves me is he made a conscious effort to make, make sure that they're separated and he made it, he made a change. And that's my point to the story is that 
you know, I expressed to him communication. I don't like this. This is bothering me. Da, 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 da. Even though I probably felt stupid saying it because he's like, what is your pro are you really like are you really stupid like are you being stupid why are you being like this and i'm like because i just am i don't like it i just don't like it and of course it's like you know he's made the conscious effort you know quickly too to be like hey, whether it was a conscious effort because he loved me or conscious effort because he just didn't want to hear my mouth <laughs> one of the two or the combination I mean, either way, he fixed it. So that's the point is that, you know, communication and then obviously on the other end or however you guys want to work it out to come to some sort of agreement of like, okay, this is what makes sense and I'm okay with this now or, you know, I, now I feel better about it or whatever it might be and you're doing it because you love them and you want them to be happy and you want them to not feel insecure and you want them to feel good about themselves or whatever it might be. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you truly love your partner or you truly like your partner a lot, maybe it's in the beginning stage or wherever it is, you want them to feel the most comfortable they possibly can, trust in you. Um, you want to build that over time, obviously. So, you know, just give your best effort, right? And make them feel really comfortable and, you know, at ease when you're around them or not around them, per se, because that's when it really mostly happens. Uh, it is what it is. But <laughs> just make those conscious efforts, communicate. That's key. Communication. And don't be insecure. And if you are insecure, make sure you communicate this to your partner so they understand why. And you guys make changes so you guys can move forward. That's yep. what it's all about. All right? So that's another awesome Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We'll see you guys next Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. Every Sunday, 11 a.m., we'll see you guys. Giving you guys all these great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and up your relationship to a whole new level. We'll see you guys next week, 11 a.m. See you then. <laughs>